All right, Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly horoscope for January 26th through the 1st of February. My name is Athen. All right, so we have an emphasis continuing this week on your second house and your third house. Second house of your values, your sense of self-worth, also abundance and finances as well. This is where Mercury's been retrograde and the sun is at the moment. And then your third house of communications, of learning, teaching, sharing information, short distance travels, where we have some aspects involving Venus and Mars who've been transiting your third house. So this whole week is very energetic. We've got the lunar cycle starting to fill up. It starts with the first quarter phase earlier in the week, and then by the end of the week, it's almost at its full moon cycle. So definitely energetic, and it's also in the aspect chart, which I'll talk about. But let's start early in the week. Tuesday and Wednesday, we've got Mercury going retrograde continuing to go retrograde, going back over the position where he was at last week in terms of your chart, which is sextiling up to Uranus and trining up to the North Node. So positively aspecting this whole North Node, Pluto, Uranus, T-square that's been going on. And this is something learning. We're definitely learning about something here. And for you guys, it's learning more about the second house with Mercury retrograde. So like I've been saying, it's put in energy, uh, treat it as a learning experience with this Mercury retrograde. Learn more about your sense of self-worth. Get involved with the finances a little bit. Rework the finances, uh, your abundance, your sense of value. Because see, our abundance and everything in our life is all based on our beliefs about ourselves and what we think we're worth. And there's definitely a lot of energy being reflected here in, in this part of your chart. So reflect on that and express yourself too, you know, with the second house. But overall, it's also just enjoying your life too in the very simplest terms. Second house is, you know, it's not just about finances, it's about what is the finances really getting you? You know, what is the, what is the money buying? And so it's about seeing what's truly meaningful to you in terms of you know what you really value and, and enjoying those values and seeing mercury retrograde you want to see the abundance you want to see the values that you already have in your life and then from there enjoy them and see how you can rework them or you know learn more in that process and and that's what the mercury retrograde is about and so if you do that tuesday and wednesday definitely some exciting energy with uranus some new insights can come to you and definitely some support with this whole squaring up to the north node with uh with pluto which is pointed towards your 10th house this overall life path for you this year is about your work and, and your public sector and giving back and being a part of the you know the uh the not community but the global system in terms of what you're providing what are you giving what is your service work so continuing to put energy this whole year in terms of that 10th house your work career etc but definitely tuesday wednesday whatever it is this reflection that you're doing that second house can definitely benefit benefit you in those 10th house matters now thursday and friday we have a shift we've got venus squaring up to saturn which is about seeing the humanness and the reality in our relationships and for you the relationships have been in your third house so definitely this sort of liveliness you guys are uh, hopefully learning and teaching and sharing within your relationships right now at the moment it's definitely what you want to be doing with this Venus uh, uh, energy but you, I think you can enjoy it nonetheless I think allowing yourself to just see the exchanges of life want to learn through your relationships etc uh, you'll gain this sort of energy and enjoyment in the process now squaring up from Saturn is perhaps suggesting that there might need to be some effort taken to make this a reality but um, it's grounding it and seeing how your communications are very important, but you have to take them somewhat seriously, and that's what Saturn shows us. So do that. Late week, Thursday, Friday, take the communication stuff seriously, see what you can learn, but you'll find it enjoyable nonetheless because any aspect with Venus definitely has the whole lesson of enjoying the whole process. Now also Thursday and Friday, while the energies are starting to build up from this lunar cycle, we have Mars sextiling up to Pluto, which is overall a very good energy maybe you might want to call it productive but it's not really productive as much as it's just this flow and again it's regarding your third house of communication so while there's this disciplined approach to it there's also this flow of energy there as well and um, it's involving with Pluto so I think you're just wanting to definitely uh, 
uh, you know, change some things in regards to perhaps how you're thinking and communicating. And this is a good time to really put energy into it. Now, on a mundane level, this could have to do with writing and teaching and sharing information. So for those of you involved in you know, workshops or courses, classes, or teaching yourself, definitely a good structural change in this part of your life. Uh, but it's an easy aspect. So you want to make sure you put energy into this part of your, in part of your chart. So continue to learn this week. Continue to share and exchange, and you'll find it very powerful. Now on Friday we've got Mercury going over the sun, which is definitely some insight. This is in regards to those uh, those second house matters of your sense of value, your abundance, your finances perhaps. And it's about seeing it clearly. And this could definitely you know, be something shifting here. And if you are putting energy into that part of your chart, this could be a time of perhaps something, again, shifting or you seeing something new in a new light, which can definitely facilitate it. It's about you enjoying yourself. With the sun in the second house, it's, you know, these values and these finances, they don't mean anything if they're not giving you that sense of vital life force, you have to feel good about it and be passionate about it and get into it and enjoy the process. So definitely that whole energy here, but you can you can really enjoy also the simple elements of life. Again, connecting to the physical material senses of life around you. Now, Saturday and Sunday, we've got uh, an interesting weekend. It's uh, sort of a mixed bag in terms of energy. The energies are high. But uh, we have Venus conjuncting up to Neptune, so perhaps it might be a little bit of a relaxation time, maybe. But overall, it's just tapping into your creativity and your imagination with these two aspects, with this aspect, these two planets coming together. Also, Mars conjunct over Chiron in that third house, maybe healing some of those energies in regards to your communications. And uh, the Sun trining up to the North Node, which is definitely a nice flow of direction for you in regards to your work and career. For those of you who might be thinking about you know, working uh, over the weekend, it would be, be a good weekend to do so because you definitely have that flow and that passion to put energy into it. Uh, but overall, it's just about having that sort of creativity and, and fun in your overall life path. So fun weekend, creative weekend, and definitely feeling quite healed and good about your ability to express and communicate, probably from a lot of the things that maybe you learned earlier in the week. All right, Sagittarius, we well, hope you guys have a great time. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.